Hi, I'm Wadud Ahmad. I'm the country manager for Chronic Solar in South Africa. Today I want to give you a short excursion of what Tier 1 listing actually means. I'm sure you must have heard the term Tier 1 many, many times before. So let's just start. What is the Bloomberg's Tier 1 listing actually? The Tier 1 list um, has, a, has a criteria that six and different projects need to be uh, need to have been financed by six different uh, non-development banks over the last two years and each of those projects needs to have had at least the size of 1.5 megawatts exceptions from these tier one listings are companies that have filed for bankruptcy or insolvency those are delisted from the uh, bloomberg new energy finance tier one list until further notice so what does it mean and what advantages does it have the tier one list gives you an insight of uh, module manufacturers with large production capacities and their products being used in large projects and financed by the banks over the last two years. It is especially common in the project market as it is a very sensitive segment where the focus is on financial strength and the size of manufacturer. But what if you're not an investor in large solar projects? What if your focus is on residential and commercial projects? There are many other brands that are not tier 1 listed and may be considered. I'll tell you why. Tier 1 is no measurement for quality. Bloomberg itself states that solar module purchasers and banks should not use the tier 1 list as a measure of quality. The tier 1 classification has nothing to do with the product quality at all. Solar panels need to be high in efficiency and need to provide a long reliability. These criteria can be fulfilled also by non-Tier 1 manufacturers. They might be smaller in production capacity or might be financed differently, but at the end of the day, it does not affect the quality, which matters the most to you as an installer. So the verdict is both. Tier 1 and non-Tier 1 manufacturers can produce great solar modules. That's why we have a wide variety of solar module brands in our portfolio. Along with the Tier 1 modules, JA Solar and Longi Solar, we have Exitec in our portfolio, which is a non-Tier 1 brand. The German brand Exitec has been in business for more than 20 years and is currently the largest solar module manufacturer in Europe. They have 2.7 gigawatts of modules supplied into 79 countries, and yet they are not listed on Bloomberg's Tier 1 list simply because they do not meet their criteria. But are they products of lower quality? Not at all. I invite you to have a closer look at our product portfolio and also to get in touch with our sales assistants to get more details. I hope you liked this video. Please uh, give us some feedback and I'll see you next time.